In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear little beloved in Christ, I'm Father Emmanuel Avia, and I will like share with you our daily empowerment breads. That's a short of reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Monday, 24th April, 2023. The readings are taken from Acts 6, 8 to 15, Psalm 118, 23 to 24, 26 to 27, and then 29 to 30. And John 6, 22 to 29. The theme of the reflection is how to combine the material and spiritual. How to combine the material and spiritual. The first reading talks of how Stephen, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, worked many miracles and thus attracted envy and persecution from his opponents. His life can help us to correct the wrong impression that it is wrong, it is erroneous to combine spiritual or pastoral work with material or secular work. Some people think, think that since Peter said that it is not good to abandon prayer and preaching in order to share food, Spiritual work should not be combined with material work. So some people have a problem when uh, re religious leaders, pastoral workers, leaders of Christian faith, combine their pastoral work with material work or with secular work. Some people have a problem with that. But it was a question of the need of the time. Peter saw that the best way to meet the needs of their time was for the apostles to focus only on pastoral work and get some people for the material work. Stephen's life shows that it is possible and it is correct to combine both spiritual and material work because though he was doing the material work of distributing food with commitment. He was also so filled with the power of the Holy Spirit that he was preaching and working miracles. He excelled in both so much that he became the first Christian martyr after the resurrection of Jesus. How was he able to excel in combining them the, in combine, combining the spiritual and material, how do we do that? The Gospel tells us how to combine both well. In the Gospel, the crowd was still searching for Jesus a day after the miracle of the bread, when they could not find him and his disciples, they also decided to cross the lake to Capernaum. When they found him there, they asked, and I quote, Rabbi, when did you come here? Unquote. Jesus answered, and I quote, I tell you most solemnly, you are not looking for me because you have seen signs, but because you had all the bread you wanted to eat. Do not work for food that cannot last, but work for food that endures to eternal life. Unquote. This implies that the miracles or the material things are signs or means to a reality or the end, which is the spiritual or eternal life. So to combine the material and the spiritual is to treat the material as a means to the spiritual. It means that the material should never prevent us from having the spiritual, but should instead facilitate spiritual. Therefore, Stephen excelled in both because he focused on both in such a way that the material did not prevent him from being holy. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to combine the material and spiritual things well and be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Can you promote this message by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel? It is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.